And we're Yay. on a podcast. Really? Podcast. Yeah. This is a podcast. Right, this right is right a now. podcast right now. That big muff in, in front of you just talk you just right talk, in. Talking talking to this. This is it. It's called yeah. a microphone. Right, it's bet. called a muff. <laughs> it's called a muff. <laughs> sometimes. A muff. <laughs> it's sometimes <laughs> called a muff. <laughs> I love it. Uh, welcome to the pod, man. Welcome. Thank Yay. you. Nice to Thank see you. you. It's brother. been so long, dude. I know. What is this? What, I don't know. So Here, we gotta get in you guys there. are connected. <laughs> get the webbing. Get the webbing. Hey. Yeah. So today on the pod, guys, we have uh, an old friend of all of ours. We all came oh, up yeah. together. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you came up on a, a show that was out at the same time of ours for which we cannot promote right now because of the strike. Mm. Yes. Uh, with your reunion movie that we cannot promote right now because of the strike. <laughs> the strike. Right. Yeah. But we were all <laughs> yeah. there at the same yeah. time. We your were. brother was on his show. You were on your show. We yeah. were on our show. And we all came up as young actors together. Y'all were an institution on Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Hey. You took that, and Disney, by yeah. storm. Mama yeah. Angel, it was Mama Angel. Yeah. Angel Mama. And Massive, I remember bro. you yeah. both, you you guys regularly went to both, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah we were always on each other's sets and, yeah. Yeah, and all that. Like, we kind of grew up doing that. But, like, also, you know, I will say that I was... A big fan of your show that we can't hey. talk about because right. of the strike. Right? <laughs> oh. But um, yeah, that was that was one of my favorite shows outside of you know our stuff. <laughs> right. Hell sure, yeah. Like yeah. 100. Hell yeah. Wow. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's so 100%. sweet. 100. I remember Chris and Kyle at like the Kids Choice Awards or like on the dance floor or just, and I was like, these are the coolest people ever. <laughs> yes, it off. be cool. Send it off. Be cool. <clears throat> yes. You were always so kind. Like you're exactly like you are oh, right thank now. You, thank like you, thank yeah. You. I, mean, I always loved you, Lizzie. Hey. <laughs> We always had so much fun. Like, yeah. Because yep. you know it's so funny? People forget, like, you know, especially us, we all were going to, like, these, like, like the Ronald McDonald yes. Oh, yes. Yes. These yeah. autograph yeah. signings. These, and these, like, oh, these yeah. like, young actor yeah. events, yeah. carnivals Carnival, and shit. Yeah, it would be like, yeah. oh, there's a fair. I used to remember, like, waking up somewhere and my mom was like, we got to go to this event. I'm like, what is it? And then we get there, it's like, oh, there's a Ferris wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be like, oh, there's Devin. <laughs> <It> do, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, Daniel's here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. Exactly. People always ask, like, if the different networks, like, was there competition? Like, yeah. only between the studios, mm -hmm. like, yeah. only yeah, exactly. between the businesses. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We were all kids having fun together. Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah. and we inter like we overlapped all the time. All the yeah. time. Yeah. Every yeah. time. Yeah. Every yeah. single time. All yeah. the events, all the crazy, like the premieres, the yep. movie yeah. premieres, mm -hmm. and yep. stuff like that. It was always fun for me. Half, I feel like yeah. half of us had the same publicist. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Go on. Scott. Scott. Okay. Yeah. 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 For sure. We all yeah. 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 For sure. That guy was making hey. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> he, he's somewhere right now like, yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah. 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 I'm chilling. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, no, Man. yeah, that's funny. We did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and because of you, I had one of the experiences that, like, like I'm so grateful for is because of uh, you and Kyle, I went on that Africa trip with you guys. Yes. That, yeah. like, tell, us, tell us about it. I'll that? never forget, yes. man. Yeah, we had so forever, most... I love you guys for that. Yeah, no, for sure. No, yeah. we did it. We had one of the best times. And then it was actually funny. I, w I looked at a video not too long ago. I don't know if you remember, but it was like a video of me and you walking from the uh, from the hotel lobby to the tents and there was a hippo. Yes. Right? Like, so grant you, okay, you know, give a little scoop on this, but hippos kill the most people in Africa of any other animal. Right. Mm. Right, more than lions and elephants and all that. Hippos are the most dangerous. Yeah, and they're the and most dangerous. they tell you, do not get between the hippo yeah. and the water. Yeah, okay? they tell you that every, every day you're there. Yeah. That's what they tell and you. And we're at this hotel in the <laughs> middle of the safari yeah. where like, the plane flies onto a dirt road, drops you off, and flies away. There's no yeah. airport. Yeah, you're just, no airport. You're just you're there. there. Yeah. And then the hotel, yeah. so hotel is like, I mean, we are in the wild. Yeah. The hotel is no in fences, the wild. No fences. Animals no. are everywhere. Yeah. And there's a pond kind of in the middle of the, the hotel property. <laughs> yeah. Hippos are in there. <laughs> and they say, don't get between the hippos and water. Yeah. Him and I are walking on this trail to like the lobby. Yeah. The water is to our left. Yeah. A giant hippo <laughs> is to our he's right. He's like feeding. <laughs> he's literally no. just eating right there. And me, we and Do I keep this, walking? This is how no, we're crazy. Cause like we're kids, you know, we're younger. So we're like, 
I instantly pull out my camera. I'm like, oh, there's a hippo. Oh. And I'm like, and then Devin's like, should we run? I'm like, no, because they tell you that they're also right. very they're also fast. fast. And so much, yeah. Yeah, people think because they're so big that they're just like slow, but they're really big fast. Like, like a linebacker. Yeah. Like a linebacker. Yeah, yeah they'll of run the 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour, <laughs> though. Like, you know, we're not outrunning that. With like, mass in motion. Yeah, so it was a cool video I saw of like you. <laughs> it's like, I'm filming you, and you're like looking at the hippo, and I'm like, zoom into the hippo, zoom into Devin's face. Could have been our last video on Earth. <laughs> For Dude, sure. I gotta see this. Yeah. Wait, man. how did you that. fight the urge to run? Like, well, was there I, not I, that it was, urge? It was because we heard it like something moving. And yeah, look, and, and it was, and like, and it was oh, a fuck. whole hippo just right. Wow. And when I say like close, I mean literally like yeah, right, right yeah, where six, that camera six feet is. away. Wow. Yeah, like if he wanted to, it was over. It was oh wild. My <laughs> God. But it just kind of looked at us. Yeah. Mm. No, the Africa trip, I, I feel like, was amazing to bring <laughs> Devin on, but I also feel like it's amazing for everyone to go Dude, to Africa because bro. it's one of the most beautiful places on earth. And yeah. you meet, like, some great people. And, like, you know, it, for us, like, I've, I actually just got back from Africa in December again. Um, yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, then I went to South Africa. I went to Johannesburg um, and Cape Town. Um, which I love also as well, but like yeah. we were, me and oh, Devin went to Kenya. 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 Even we Nairobi. Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we went uh, to Nairobi, and then uh, from there we went to the Masamara, uh, mm. yep. which is literally, you know, the middle, you know, I mean, you could hear elephants outside your tent. You know wow, what I mean? like dude. Just, they they scratch their tusk on trees and, yeah. and knock trees over for like sport kind of. Yeah. Wow. So at night, and you're not in a hotel room. It's a hotel tent it's is tent. what it is. Yeah, it's like, the, what do they call it, like glamping? So you yeah, it's like, like a canvas tent. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. But you're hearing at night all the wild animals. So elephant animals. could just come and just straight yeah, up. Yeah, if he wanted straight to, up. if he wanted to, for sure. Well, you're, you're kind of like, you're your tents elevated. are elevated. Yeah. Uh -huh. They got like a shower. It's like, yeah. you know, it's kind of more like. It was like, bougie. Yeah, like how like, big is it? It was bougie, <laughs> but there's still, no, no, it's a it's big a, room. It's a it's room. like a yeah. room, yeah. but yeah. It's, it's made of canvas. So you're going to hear him hit the walls before it gets to you. Yeah, but oh, they're out there, bro. Yeah, if they wanted to come into that tent, though, it's done. Dude, I saw the funniest thing that I'll never forget there, which was we were, so we were filming a documentary at the time. It was like daytime stars give back. It was like mm -hmm. uh, promoting Feed the Children, and we were there, you know, showing the work they do, whatever. Um, so we were like filming some segment, and I look over at one of uh, like our friends who was there, one of their tents, and this group of like eight little monkeys, monkeys. yes, go yeah. up onto the, the little deck by the tent, and Unzip. one of them. Yeah. Unzips it. Unzips the tent. The seven yes. roll in. They're running and out then the with one, iPhone chargers. The one sits there as lookout, <laughs> yeah. and all of them come out with something. Yeah. Cookies. Strategy. Yeah. Like yeah. little knickknacks. Like yeah. all no. of them come out. Yeah. And one was like the lookout, and they yeah. and then they all bolted. And I just yeah. watched all this happen like. That's one of the most amazing things yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, they literally oh, robbed his whole thing. <laughs> My they come God. out with like phone chargers, <laughs> no. laptop chargers. Yeah. Like. There's some guy who's trained them. Yeah, you know, that's what I think stuff. too. He's like, he's like, yo, good job, boys. Tent Here's number seven, go get Staff at the hotel. <laughs> Bro, right? He's like, listen to me, guys. Wow. I want you in and out. Yeah, Five no, minutes. It was so, that's Tops. so funny. Because that's so true. It's real. But yeah, so many <laughs> experiences on that were wild. And we really did have the, we did have, two worlds that we saw. Cause like the safari was amazing. And if, if you can go on it, go on it. Like, but it was bougie mm. and amazing. But before that we were in Nairobi for three days, like yeah. going through the slums and like yeah. kind of seeing what the work that this charity does. And yeah. whoo, man, that's some humanity. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I yeah. went to Sierra Leone, West <laughs> Africa. Yep. And similar, like their beaches there are just beautiful. Like yeah. no yeah. safari going on, yeah, yeah. but it was, it was the, the beaches nature. that I yeah. Yeah, walked away yeah. with. But then you also kind of see just how, you know, third world can kind of mm -hmm. be. And it's like, yeah. yeah. P but there's real people there. I saw a lot of helpful oh, people. Yeah. Of course. Oh, and they don't, they're not caught up in the same bull crap Ex that we're caught dude, up in. Exactly. Going and, and willing and, to and help. That's the, thing the too. That's the you shit. also yeah. see the biggest smiles, the like the the most, like these, you know, a lot of times, because where we, where we were was, uh, I want to say, was it was a it uh, was it Kabori? I, I can't the remember. The name of the slum. I yeah, yeah, the name. but it was one of the largest. Um, Massive. In, in, I think it was like over a million or two million that live in this concentrated area, right? Yeah. There's no um, mailboxes. There's no, uh, no, you know, there's no mailing there's address, no, no electricity, water. no running water. Like this is literally just land mm -hmm. that, you know, these people occupy. Yeah. So for us, it was really humbling, you know, and also like to be able to go and help and then to bring more people awareness to it was, mm -hmm. was amazing. But then you also, the, the joy that you get out of it is seeing like so many people that are still just happy to see you. 
Mm. I mean, they're smiling, yeah. they're laughing. And then once you realize, like, you know, especially me, when I first went, I was six, 16 or 17, something like that. Mm -hmm. So for me, the first time I went is when it really, like, changed everything. Like, when I got back home to being like, yo, like, I got a way, like, yeah, what I, you I don't need to be complaining about, about Dude, a lot of stuff. Real, yeah. man. You know, and then, like, that's what kind of, like, made me reach out to, like, other people that I knew, like, you know, and said, like, when Devin said, yeah, I'll come. Like, we were, like, there pretty much, like, the next week or something. Wow. I think, like, yeah. a couple wow. weeks after that. Nice. Wow. Yeah, yeah that yeah, perspective was, shift is real, man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was there was even an instance where um, when we were in the slums, there was a, you know, this guy tells me, like, you can't give anyone money or water or food or any of this outside of, like, the charitable stuff that we're doing, kind of, like, hand-to-hand, -hand, like, one-on-one. Mm. -on -one. And, like, I kind of... Was like, you know, what? Like, I'm how are you gonna tell me I, I can't give, give someone yeah. something like this is my money, this is my whatever, you right. know? Yeah. And then um He was right. <laughs> he was yeah, he was right. Cause what happened was we we opened up um it was a water bottle. We were we were leaving from filming over here in this one area. It was a water bottle, I think, on the on the floor of the car that we were in. And one of the kids goes, Hey, can I have that? And I said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I gave it to him. So yeah, so what happened was it's like two or three more people like, yo, can Rush, I get yeah. one? You know, and I'm like, all right, cool. So what me being young and being kind of like naive about the situation, I popped the trunk. Oh. And the trunk is just ah. like full of water bottles. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like Bum But rush, my yeah. my brain is just like, yo, we're not gonna drink all we're right. literally done filming right now. Right. We're about to go back to the hotel. Like we're probably gonna eat and do all this. Right. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna give out like the rest of these water bottles. Yeah. And then what happened was I started opening up one Stampede. of them. Stampede. And before I turned back around, it was like more people around the car that I had ever seen, like in oh. my life that are just like reaching for, yeah. like, for yeah. me. And like, and I'm like, yo, yo, whoa, okay. Like, and I didn't even know. But what happens is you understand that there's uh, a message in it because the water is so crucial. Yeah. Right. So like for us, you know, know, empty it's water nothing. bottles around the house, like are in the car, Wild, like you know, yeah. half drink water bottles is like nothing to us. We just go, like, yo. But certain people in dire situations, this water bottle is like the probably the first and only clean water they're gonna drink for a very long time. Mm, you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like you you learn that, and then you go, wow, I gotta be really more appreciative of what. You know, what Dude, we that's have. some, what, that's some know. existential shit seeing yeah. the disparity that like we yeah. didn't choose, you know, you didn't choose where you're born. And, yeah. and yeah. we're all humans and we all deserve yeah. a we certain, certain amount. Privileges. And yeah. we have yeah. such privileges. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it's some existential shit seeing like just the disparity in those situations. Yeah. yeah. I mean, For you, like, a water bottle is like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, because you guys, we also have to think, even if you don't have a water bottle, you can go to the park down the street and hit and the There's bottle. a water fountain. Right. You yep. know what yep. I mean? It's Clean like, water. even right. that is like very much more like. Yeah. I think you can even ask, like, it's illegal in California not to give somebody water if they ask. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it have... should be like that pretty much everywhere right. in the world. Like, right. so someone should always be able to get a glass of water right. to me. Ideally, no. It's like, yo, like, come on, bro. Like, that's the one thing we can't live without dang you know what i mean dang it's literally the one thing you can live without food you know for, wow. a, for a certain amount, breath, a certain amount right? of time breatharian? breath be yeah. breatharian yeah. yeah daniel only, Daniel's only taking up breatharianism. wait did, you didn't know me when i was doing the raw vegan diet did yes you? i did oh you did <laughs> oh no like, he said yes weird. with yeah. judgment yeah i was like Whoa. what are what you doing, are you doing? <laughs> Okay, yes. But it was so good. I, I mean, it, it worked, yeah. though. I mean, For a like, while. Yeah. And then I went downhill. Bro, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I did. I, I did. <laughs> I had a whole workout kick. I was on running five miles a day, doing all this. And then, like, I lost my grandma on my mm -hmm. mom's side mm -hmm. and then my granddad. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go eat some chicken. Right. You know what I mean? And then it was just like, uh, like I kind of fell off the wagon, but I'm going to get back on it. But I, I know how that goes. Yeah. It's like, it's ups and downs with Everything. everything. It's just Everything always it's like the discipline. It's like yeah. you fall out to come back, to you fall come, out yeah. to come back I mean, at a different. And I think that's a great part of growing in life is just knowing like, okay, I did this before. I can do it again. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know I was getting up every morning running five miles a day. When those things start to fall away or you lose the motivation a little mm. bit to yeah. do it, that yeah. you know something's going on with you. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, because man, like, yeah, so grandparents dying, like shit's going to happen. And I was telling them like, Sometimes I'm not aware I'm actually like processing something emotionally, yeah. but then I'll notice like 
things that I normally do easily, maybe working out or just like yep. answering emails are taking yeah. me like yeah. all day to get yeah. motivated. Right. And yeah. I really like the energy isn't there. And when yeah. that's going on consistently, I'm like, oh, I'm probably depressed about something and mm. I'm not even, I'm yeah, not even yeah. like aware of it. because I'm just in my routine. Yes. And yeah. then it just becomes Because I'm going through things. the motions. Yeah. Bro, you, I, I remember working out with you at the, what, the Nick, uh, the Nick Hotel. Mm. We had like, yeah, yeah. we was going in the gym like yeah. about every day. The oh, yeah? yeah. Hotel? That yeah. Lose the, the, like, the cookie, Nickelodeon I Hotel. I a bit fat at one time. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> he was like, bro, you can get rid of that, but you got to run, though. You got to hey, run. Hey, that's because my dad, bro. My dad was like a Marine. Military. That's right. No run. way. Big Mike. Yeah, my Big dad Mike. used to just run. Like, he, he, my dad, I don't know. You remember when we first came to California and we were all yeah. together? Like, my dad was a little, like, chunkier, too. Like, now my dad's like. Them. More fit than Bruh. everybody I know. Great like, inspiration, he's like ripped. Man. Wow. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. Like Damn. he's like older. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but he's ripped. Yeah. But because he has that military mindset, like I can just run every day. And that's what also I think I got was like when I was on my workout kit, I was doing it every day. Mm. Yeah. Right? Because you know, sometimes you get like some trainers and they're like, oh, you gotta get rest day. You gotta like let your body heal. Okay. But then it's like my dad is like a Marine. It's like when you're in boot camp, it's like you're running every, every day. day. You're right. doing push-ups yeah. every day. There's no rest day. Like yeah. there's no time to for your body to heal. You're just gonna uh -huh. get. You're gonna you're gonna be you know done. So I did mine in like six months. I lost like forty pounds. Damn. Like, I was like going crazy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It was like six wow. months. And then once I got like a year, I was like, uh, I kind of well six months. I kind of coasted, and then yeah, like a year in, I got like four. I was down fifty pounds, and then after that, I was like, I'm looking good. Yeah, and then after that, I was like, I'm good now. I'm just, I'm gonna chill. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it's just like went all down. And then you know, you know, losing my grandparents and stuff. But yeah, yeah. bro, th but that that's interesting. Well, outside of losing the grandparents, mm -hmm. and I just lost my grandmother at the end of last year. So that was, that was yeah, man. I'm sorry to hear that. No, it, it happens. It's life, man. Yeah, and we're all trying to yeah. grow through yeah. it. But uh, but outside of that, yeah, that that dedicated. You can choose something, be dedicated to it, but it's not about that finish line. It is, you know, maintaining a lifestyle and yeah, that journey. Exactly. You know? How long can you keep that journey going? It's true. It's so true. Because I remember saying, yeah, I'm never going to stop doing this. Yeah. I'm Why never going to stop working out. This is just easy. It's perfect. Right. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm not going to go to the gym today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A year yeah. later. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then that was, the, that was the messed up part, too, because they called for this film that I did that we can't speak about. That, that big oh, film. Right? It was right. Josie 205, right? Yeah, something, something like that. that, yeah. Right. But yeah, they called me like right, at, like the literally like the year before was like the year I was just so fit. The, the most yeah. fit of my life. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we're going to wait until you like. You're like, you're <laughs> like deep in <laughs> snacks. And they call, you're like. <laughs> they call me oh, like, shit. yo. Hey, oh, put the snacks down. Can you be on set <laughs> next You're going to be on set oh, next week. Yeah. Damn. So I'm like, damn it. Like, you know, so, but it just also shows you like kind of like how life works. And like me, I'm just more, I accept everything like as it is, you know? Mm. So like for me, I just look at it like, you know what? That was my bad for not staying ready and staying where I needed to be physically for myself. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because everything I was like, I, like I have fun. Like I enjoy doing whatever. But like for me, that was like the one thing I'm like, God. Like, it I could have been, nice. been ripped. I could just kept running and at least <laughs> running. Like even after I go work out, <laughs> I like, yeah, right? stop everything. Yeah, I stopped but, everything. But Paul instead, started. you showed a, a realistic version of what yes. it is to go to a high school reunion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely you're wild. You're Absolutely. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> this is me now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's what I did it for. I did. It you for, did it for a method. Was, was method. You did hey, it for method. There it is. Yep. Yes. I said I'm gonna make this very realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Take me as well, I this am. is 30s, baby. Yes. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. And you're a father. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. we, we'll cut you some slack. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> no, yeah, but being a dad is so cool. It's like yeah. the most fun thing you could ever do to me. Like it's just cool. Like a lot of people, you know, you hear horror stories like, "Oh, oh you don't want to have any kids now." I'm like, and I get that also, but like for me it's like Probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Beautiful. Aww. Yeah, it really oh, is. Beautiful. Especially like, having daughters is like, um, you know, yeah. it just like humbles you. Yeah. <laughs> it how humbles many, you very well. How many babies yeah. do you have and how old are you? There's uh, three. There's Carter, Bella, and Mariah. And Mariah is my oldest. She's not here. Uh, she's eight. And then there's Carter. He is four. And then Bella's five. They're upstairs right yep. now. Mm. Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. You're talking to three... Uh, 
30s adults who are Without nowhere babies. close yeah. to having <laughs> we, we didn't get chose yet. Y'all. No, <laughs> nah, nobody cool. wants I us. mean, hey, I'll say this. Like, <laughs> wait until you're ready. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's going to, you know, it, it just changes everything. <laughs> it's going to change right. yeah, the right. world. Sure. Yeah, for sure. But you're, you're handling it so well. Like, even, for like, real. I get to, you know, snoop on, like, Instagram and stuff like yeah. that. And just the, the way you interact with your kids and... Uh, allow them you prioritize them then you got your pages for them stuff too like it's really great to see yeah i do that too because i I think um the main thing with me was like i kind of give them choices to see what they want to do right Mm -hmm. so because especially you know with like my daughter bella like so many agents and stuff are like i want her she's pretty precious i need her and i want her to do print i want her to do this and i'm like you know like i'm gonna chill right now and just let them kind of like be kids and enjoy it because you know we all grew up in this so we kind of know like you know it's a lot that comes with it right you know what i mean like i I tell people that all the time you know when when people want to be you know, I mean, you're still TV cooking long show. after you come out of the womb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you're exactly. still, yeah, exactly. You're learning. You're still kind of in an incubator with yeah. your parents, yeah. like, yeah. and a lot comes with entering the entertainment. Yeah, industry. a lot of pressure. Yeah. A lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, pressure, expectation, yeah. outside in, like, absolutely. Yeah, and man. the younger you start them, I feel like the the more you put them into this bubble where it's like you can't mess up. You know, yeah. right. and Ooh. kids mm-hmm. and kids are going to mess up. Right. That's what they yeah. are. Like right. The kids are going to like we all human beings are going to mess up. Regardless. Right. Yeah. You're going to you know, it's going to be good days and bad days. But as a kid, I think it's kind of too much pressure sometimes to be able to be like, dude, you did real. this wrong and everyone's going to know about it. For real. You know? Because, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, God forbid, but anyone, uh, you know, that's not you know, grew up how we did and as child actors could go and have a slip up or get a DUI, they can go back to work on Monday and nothing ever happened. It's like, one of us get a DUI yeah. and it's going to be on the news before you get booked and processed. Right. Like, right. You know I mean? like, right. You're going to be like, I, I dodged oh, bullets. yo, he's I, uh, I got lucky, dude. I got a DUI when I was 19 and it never went out. Hey, yeah. where were you in like bumfuck? No, I was in downtown LA, man. <laughs> really? Yep, I got lucky. <laughs> Damn, never lucky. made it out. Hey. Yo, you, were, oh. you got some good lawyers. Look. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for, for real though. <laughs> paid that money. <laughs> for real though. <laughs> He's expensive Damn. as fuck. Devin, <laughs> Devin dropped that bag off. Damn. Damn. Devin was like, yo. <laughs> Here's the bag. Make it go away. Make, Make that it go, go away. away. Wow. Yeah. Although, honestly, wow. it might have helped my career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wish I did down. get out there. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, bad They would have seen me as a bad, bad boy. boy. Yeah. Bad boy. I am a bad boy. I was I too swear. squeaky clean. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I do cool things too. <laughs> cool things. Aren't I cool? <laughs> Don't drink a drop at all. No. At Don't all. do that shit. No, I learned my lesson. It was it was it was hum- it was like the right humbling. Yeah. But yeah, no, that shit was real. I was like, oh, this could really affect things. Like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah, yeah man. I, I gotta mean, be careful. But you know, those are the things that like we have to go through where it's like people you know you get in trouble or something and people are calling you like what are you doing bro one time i you know i had some some crazy things happen in my life and people calling me like yo what happened you did what what what's going on i'm like bro I, I don't even know. talk to you on a yeah, like a normal you know? basis. <laughs> right, like, right. You're calling me to like give me a lecture. Like, 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 like what is happening? Yeah, back, back up. You know what I mean? And it's like God, it, it, that only happens because our lives will forever be in the limelight, yeah. no right. matter what. You know, yeah. like so. You know, Hopefully forever. Hopefully. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, chasing it forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, because here's the thing, right? And I'll, I'll give you guys your flowers for always being like amazing at, at your show and everything you guys did. Sorry, we burned yours. <laughs> Oh, yo, that's we hilarious. had to. We hey, Devin bought us for it. He's like, no, we're not lighting it on fire. Devin, we're lighting these fires on fire. I thought fire. that shit was hilarious, bro. I mean, hey, man. bro. You know what's so funny? Like people were sending me this. They're like, uh, the Nets, the Nets cast is hating on y'all. I'm like, I'm like, no, they not. don't even know. Like we, I know these people. Yeah, like, right? yeah. Like, what are you talking no, about? we're not. I was like, I know. We're not hating on the cast. I literally, I was in the in the um, in the uh, comments like dying laughing. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, but what I was gonna say oh. was, was that like for us, right? Because you were so, we were talking about the um, you know it, it lasting long or whatever, like yeah. being in this yeah. limelight. But what I said is we have the amazing, very interesting like perspective that we have in this field, right? Mm-hmm. Because most people 
that grew up watching television or movies, they didn't grow up with the cat. Like that's what we all have, right? Yeah. Where people will come up to you and I know they tell you this all the time, like you were my childhood, yep. yeah. right? So like that I think is what kind of gives it this longevity of like, no, you're it's right. forever. That, that is yeah. forever. You know I mean? It's because like a connection. That generation's connection to us mm. is yeah. forever yeah. because it's always their childhood. Yeah, it's always mm. their childhood. That doesn't go away. Yeah. Right. That's like, true. That is like this weird lasting. Yeah essence yeah. this like magic that pervades our experience with this yeah because yeah. i've i've been places where i've seen someone you know meet someone that's like very very like where where i would be like yo that person's like the holy grail right mm -hmm. and then they'll like see like me and my brother and then they'll <gasps> flip the fuck out yeah, yeah. right and it was like with them yeah. they were just like yo it was so nice to meet you yeah, love yeah, your yeah. work right and then with us oh my I'm God. like oh! and then you're like yo why is this and it's because if you think about it Right, like uh, let's say like a, I don't know, like a Brad Pitt, right? Brad Pitt is like amazing. Everyone loves Brad Pitt, but you got to look at like you have to go see these movies. You have to go do this. These kids are when they're coming home from school. Exactly. It's just yeah. like, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like they're watching this over and over. My daughter watches like the same iCarly episode every day. Right. Like, yeah. It's the same one. Right. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, it. Yeah. I'm like, yo, the, you. They have like three seasons. <laughs> She's like, no, no. She's this like, no, 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 this yeah. is the one though. And then I'm like, all right, so imagine her, right? When I took her to the kids, this was the coolest thing. I took her to the Kids Choice Awards, and she's literally pointing out like every, like people I didn't know. Right? I felt like I felt like the parents that used to you know when oh. we when people oh, would come, come up. yeah, and my daughter, yeah, they're picture. like, who are you? They're like, like I don't know who you are, yeah, but she but, does. Well, my daughter loves you. Go ahead and take <gasps> what a photo. What are you on? Oh but I felt like that for the first time ever at the Kids Choice Awards, and it was like the most hilarious thing because oh, my man. daughter's like, oh, that's you know whoever, and I'm like, okay, cool, and like you want to get a picture with them? And she's like. No, she's too famous. Uh, I'm like, what? What is she doing? She's like, she's a YouTuber. Uh, I'm like, yo, you want to get a picture with her? Or yeah, like, yeah, I got you. Like, come on. on now. So like, she for me, I was like the coolest dad ever because I was oh. like taking pictures with everyone that yeah. she wanted Dude. to take pictures dope, with, dope. and like, yeah, she was. She had a great time. So, yeah, that was. But being a kid and and having a connection to a show or anything like that, I feel like it lasts way longer into your adulthood, into your, you know, you know, until you're gone. I, I feel like it also gives people permission to like go back to that very innocent childlike yep, place, yeah. right? And that will always like be with us, right? Like that right. innocence before sex of this and that right. and other. It's true. Yeah. Know, and we want to remember that. Yeah. We want to yeah. have that connection because to like, oh yeah, life was simple once. Yeah, it was. Because yeah. people do like freak out and get that excitement about them, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I feel like people don't get a chance to do that very often. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's very true. <laughs> there was this, there was this Starbucks guy recently who like, when he saw my face, like he, he like had this like shock. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, and he's like, oh, <laughs> and he like did that for like a little too long. Yeah. And then he like put back on his adult self. Like yeah, he like yeah. literally yeah. like yeah. was yeah. like, yep. Oh, sorry, bro. Uh, <laughs> Ned, like, like he literally like yeah. went yeah. to childhood and then like, yep. course corrected back to adulthood. And yeah. he was like, what's Love up? Your shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let me bring it back real quick. Uh, and I was yeah, like, yeah. I know, bud. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but that's a cool, it's a cool thing to have. And it's a cool gift because. You know, for us, we we had people that when we were kids, we watched kids shows. Mm -hmm. and shows. Like I remember the first time I ever met Bug Hall, like I was just like so like so excited. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like, right. like, I'm like, yo, yeah, bro, like <laughs> you're lit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, you know, because those are like I watched like Little Rascals, yeah. and, yep. like Dude, the exactly. Sandline, yeah, and shit like that. Exactly. You know? So it's like I know how people feel because I felt the same way when mm. I saw these people somewhere. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. So it's like I get it. Yeah. 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 I've never felt more like a schoolgirl than when I saw Viggo Mortensen in person. And <gasps> and, and it's because I watched Lord of the Rings since I was a child. Yeah. And like meeting him in person, I was like, you're Aragorn. And I love <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Can I sniff your beard? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bro, I had a I had a really I had a really bad moment one time with uh what's his name? Uh Eli Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Yeah. But what what's um yeah okay. So I did. I was. I was a little. I was at the Roosevelt Hotel. It was me and my boy uh, Kwame. Um, I don't know if you remember Kwame. Kwame yeah. Yeah. Kwame. 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 Yeah. 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 Me, me and Kwame are at the uh, Roosevelt Hotel, and I see him, uh, and I go up to him, and I'm like, "Yo, bro, like I love everything." That, you know, I was like, "I love everything you're in," which I do. You know what I mean? But I, I confuse him 
with, um, and, and I said, uh, like Harry Potter going crazy. No, no. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What is his name? Daniel Harry Potter. Rag Daniel. Daniel Rag no, you no. Bro. <laughs> and, and, and here's the messed up part, right? <laughs> he, he, he's Cold. such he's such a real one. Like Elijah is such a real one. He didn't even correct me. Yeah, he Kwame did. did. Oh wow, wow. Kwame's like he's not a Harry Potter. He's like, <laughs> he's like bro, he's a Lord of the Rings. Like, wizard. Oh my bad. I was like, yo, I said like, that's what I meant. Like, you go, yeah. no, you go. Oh my bad. You walk away. But you know what? Oh. I, it was the only reason why I loved that moment a little bit was because I've been that person all yeah, the time. Yeah. Oh, who yeah, do, yeah, who yeah, do you bro. get? Oh, everything. My brother. Yeah. You, you sometimes. Like, you, like, right. like, were you on Netflix right. classified? Zoe like, nah, bro, bro. I wasn't like. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get Mitchell Musa, or I used to. Oh, I yeah. Used to. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. like, I love you on Hannah Montana. I'm like. Yeah, and now okay, like, I, I'll <laughs> just be like, yep. <laughs> me too, man, me too. Wait, we yeah. gave him Miley. Daniel Ratcliffe the other day when he put those glasses on. Just oh, when I put those glasses on. Yeah. Yeah. Honest yeah. mistake. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was like, Damn He's going to sacrifice himself. Hey, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. It was rough, bro. It just looked so bad because Kwame, like, Kwame, like, actually, he corrected me like right in front of him. That's too. amazing. So it was just like, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm an not, idiot. That's what I meant, bro. Like, Dang. <laughs> wow. He's like, it's all good. And he just kind of like walked off. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. I blew it. I blew it. I'm an Dude, idiot. I definitely, I, I've told this on the, I think before, but um, I was in a Best Buy and this the, the cashier was just looking and looking and looking. <laughs> and she, and I, I'm like, okay. And she, and she goes, are you an actress? And I said, yeah, I am. And she goes, I love Twilight. <laughs> Kristen Stewart. <laughs> I love Twilight. You're like, yeah, me and too. You were like, me too. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Me too. Right? Exactly. You're like, can I get a free iPhone now? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something, the the something. thing is, I don't I think I corrected her. <laughs> no. Yeah. Why you not? Never, why dude? would I want to do that? At that point, you just go, yeah. Let her have the money. I've literally yeah. taken pictures with folks that thought I was as Chris Massey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that Chris Massey middle was finger. Like, yeah. just ruin his rap. One of the longest. He's like, yeah, I'm Chris Massey. Fuck you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, Chris Massey really. was an <laughs> asshole. <Yeah. laughs> Dude, no. When I would Google search my my name, sometimes like picture of you would come up yeah, or yeah. you know like random. Dude, yeah. that used to happen that. to me all the time. Take it down. Yeah, my, take that shit I would down. be quote like I would be labeled as someone else. Like all. It would yeah. happen all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't Devin Werkheiser. I was Drake Bell. Dang. Oh, it happened all the time. God. See, yeah. yeah, whoever has Wikipedia needs to like chill out too because they Bro. put me, I was born in Nashville or some shit. Oh, I was like, man. who did this? Like, yeah. I don't even know Anybody if that's real. It, it like, gave yeah. me a rock star Nickelback <laughs> music video credit and people have actually come up to me and goes, that was my favorite work of yours. <laughs> like, oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> wasn't in it. Right? Wasn't in it. it was the only Still haven't watched Well, the internet burn. also says my net worth is $4 million. Oh, yeah, so. what's up with that? It says I'm only $3 million. What the <laughs> fuck <laughs> is <laughs> Number right. one on the call sheet. Wow, I, got, I gotta look at mine. I was, right? I didn't know what oh, you got a lot of money. Oh, yeah. you got a lot of According to Netflix.com. Yeah. 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 Especially with the latest movie it? dropping. I, yeah. I've seen yeah. I've seen people like comment it too. They're like, they're like, he's such a liar. The internet says he has four million dollars. Yeah, like, you're like, yeah, right. okay. Yeah. Cool. Maybe before taxes and years of living. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Never once hit four million. Right. Not at the same time. You gotta think too, like collectively. Most of the wealthiest people in the world actually don't even, they don't even go on Forbes. Oh yeah, like, exactly. Think about that, like, yeah, exactly. Like the sheiks and stuff in like Dubai. Like, yeah, they're right. never on Forbes. Yeah. Right, and we're giving it just like Kylie. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're like buying like twelve Rolls Royce Cullinans yeah. in a row and painting them all silver. And they're like, yeah, Bruh. we don't have any money. <laughs> yeah, <we're broke. laughs> it's like, yo, I mean, tax breaks. Oh yeah, Good yeah, no, Lord, they sure. don't have money. They have oil. I yeah, mean, it's counted and differently. Gold. Yeah. Wow. And gold. It's like my money's actually backed it's by gold. Qualified yeah. differently. Wow. <laughs> For Bruh. sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm so glad I'm here. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel you. like I feel like this was literally this is how it used to be when we would be like anywhere, anywhere outside. It's what it's felt like us reconnecting and then yeah. any guests we've had on like it's oh. like, oh yeah, our lives were this for like a lot of years. Yeah, yeah. This kind yeah. of fun with everyone, man. It is. It's so yeah. true, man. Like, especially with Daniel. Like, Daniel Throwback. Curtis. Like, we, man. You taught me how to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater, man. We, I was coming in just pressing buttons. I didn't really get that games had like strategy or really special <laughs> stuff. I'm yeah. just sitting there just mashing. <laughs> no, no. And you know him with yeah. what was it, Metal Gear Solid? He, he used, used to be on Metal Gear Solid, bro. Yes. Not Metal Gear Solid. Yes, you did. Which? 
No, 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 not Metal Gear Solid. What's the one? What's the one the where the first person shooter Halo. No, 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 not that one. <laughs> that was later. What is it? Gears of War. Oh, that's oh, what it was. Oh, you Gears, Gears of War. Gears of War. Gears of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gears of War. That's what it was. Not Metal Gear Solid. Wow. Gears, I was on of Gears, Gears of War. And yeah. Ghost yeah. Recon was a was a sneaky spy one. Like yeah, Metal Gears but but yeah. yeah, Gears of War. I was Gears on. of War. You were like he was. Yeah, he was. No. Cold. Yeah, he was. Wow. Pretty crazy. I was a gamer. You're a gamer. Man. Yeah. I was a gamer. Yeah, he was a teenage gamer, dude. Yeah, I mean, you should you should get back into that because you know you can get paid for it now. I got you. Wait, you were good. Yeah, and I. Good. Yeah, I'm always surprised to hear Devin's good at anything. Yeah, I used to I used to play with him. That's fucked up. And I'm good at so many things. I, I know. To, I used to play with him. And like he used to really piss me off to the point I'd be like, yo, fuck this game. Like, yeah, he was pretty good. <laughs> like, I, he's the reason why I don't play Gears of War. Wow. <laughs> wow. Straight up. Bro, we that is wild. I remember we, Yeah, we used have, to upset cast members. Yeah, everybody. Well, I was gonna say, because I remember that time. Do you remember when we all went and Devin played hockey at that like charity <gasps> event <gasps> thing? And you were like, I don't Devin. remember this. <laughs> I don't remember. Yes, you do, what? bro. Homie. Yes. Homie. Was, I remember being like, remember. look at him out. Yeah, there. she was like. We were dating at the yes, time. She, wow. I, that's what I was saying when I was doing this. I was like, did we talk about yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, All the you, time. We're you two, were, that, it was you the, two were dating. And, and like, I remember because I was sitting next to her and you were playing. And I just remember her like melting every time you touched the puck. She was just like. <laughs> Look at him out there. Look at him. I'm like, yo, relax, Lindsay. Like, <laughs> I don't he's, know he's what kind of short and he's not that friend. good. He didn't even score. Man, he's out getting knocked <laughs> around. I don't remember this. I don't remember playing oh, hockey. Yeah, bro. You were, yeah, you, you were, did. it was in Sued Georgia. Him. Yeah. Well, no, you have no, to. It was here. It's hockey. No, no, no. It was, it was I, I know. That's what, what I'm saying. saying is I only remember Georgia and, or hockey in Georgia. I don't remember. It was a charity, like a charity thing event. and like yeah, it was like uh, I know. And I was dreamy. Hayden, I think Hayden was there. Pan, yeah, Panettiere. Panettiere. Um, I think yeah, yeah. How do you not remember this and we do, mm -hmm. dude? We you lived played a hockey. lot of life, man. He, he yeah. took some bad checks to the to hey. the class. Hey, <laughs> or some bad drugs. No, I just smoked a lot of <laughs> weed in my teenage years. <laughs> All I remember being like is, wow, Devin has other talents outside of acting, yeah. and I, that's what I impressed. But Turns I remember out that I do many day. Things. You know, I remember that day. I was like, oh shit, Devin's out there. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna play. I'm like, really? I'm hot. Yeah. Everyone's surprised I'm athletic. No, no, no. But it was just for me, that was my first time seeing you like suited up. Like you were out there like skating around. I'm like, yeah. oh shit, you know he did that. Yeah, I can right? skate. Yeah. Yeah. You can carve up the do you, ice. Do you still do you, I have when's the last time you went skating? Ten years. Ten years. Mm. Ten years. So we're about the probably the same now. No, I could I could still so hockey stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. He played hockey. I'm sure yeah. you're not. Like, like, I'm sure he like, comes back. Yeah, I'm, he's yeah. not gonna forget that. Yeah. No, I'm pretty comfortable on ice skating. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wow. I don't. Man. I want to say it was it like one. either like pick. I don't know. Probably was a Pickwick bowling. Bread. Yeah, because they have. But ice they had the ice. There. Where did yeah. they have mm. those Project Angel food things? What? That was like at a bowling alley too. Y'all don't the, remember Project yeah, Angel food? Yeah, but that was. I think that was like. Jerry's, wasn't it? Like Jerry's yeah, Deli? Mm. yeah. It's R.I.P. to Jerry's Famous Deli. Oh, yeah, R. man. We hardly knew you. <laughs> we hardly knew you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the actual deli itself is like yeah. gone. Like, yeah, it's gone. that's it's so messed up. Bro. I remember like, the pastrami sandwich there was like six pounds of pastrami. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then it was too in much. Between. Yeah, it was, it was I used to like the much. matzo ball soup. Mm. Classics. That'll, so, these are the two do. classics. That'll yeah, do. classic. So good. Things are gone. Just over time, <laughs> things are no longer there. Okay, yeah. Chris, what do you think is your greatest character asset and greatest character defect? Of what? The show that we can not talk about? No, 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 just you. Your life, oh, your me. More, your human character. Oh, my human character? So could I get that one more time? Assets and defects. What are, what are your, What's your biggest strength? What's your biggest weakness? Um, I would say my biggest strength would probably be um, uh, just always being able to connect people and and different people that I feel like should all kind of like, like I've always been like that for some reason. I don't know why, but I've always been like, you know, I like to hear what people are doing with their lives or what they're trying to do. And I'm like, oh, you're trying to do this? Oh, my guy can help you with that. Let me, mm. I've always been like that. And I also feel like it's also probably my biggest weakness mm. because of the fact is I've done it a few times where just recently I was almost like, I'm never going to do this again because this person burned me from making this connection with this person. And mm -hmm. now they're doing, you know, business without me. Yeah. And then I learned that I was like, you know what? It's just who I am. Right. Like I don't do it 
for financial gain. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't fail. do it for this and that. I do it just because I genuinely like to see people happy or strive or do whatever it is that they right. want to do. So, like, you know, I'm the type of person if someone says, like, yeah, I'm trying to get into, you know, writing scripts or this or I want to get in with over here with this person. I'm like, oh, I know him. Let me yeah. I, let me call him or let me, send, let me facilitate to where you can reach what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for me... The only reason why this one that I'm in particular that I was talking about kind of like irritated me was because it was the person mentioned like, oh, yeah, you're going to get this. I'm going to do this. If you can do this, I'm going to mm-hmm. do this, which I didn't ask for any of that. You know right. what I mean? Like you just told me, you told volunteered me, yeah. me that you're going to do all this stuff for me for making this happen for you. Right. And I was like, all right, cool. And then when it actually happened, it was just kind of like, fuck this guy. Like, I'm good. I, uh, I, you? I made it to where I need to be and I'm right. good. And I was like, damn, like people are out here like that you yep. know what I mean? and it and it kind of like you know it made me kind of question like whether i wanted to do that anymore for anyone else right when in all actuality it's like no you know what? that's just who i am yeah i can't even when i tried to say like i'm never gonna do this again i was like the next day anyway, yeah. i was like yo can you I'm like yeah bro i got you like hold on let yeah. me make a call like, yeah you know what i mean and, yeah but i think that's a I think it's a cool thing because it always keeps me connected to people. I mean, even with like, you know, the movie that I just did, um, you know, I was one of the only people that had every person's phone number. Right. Oh, like still. separately, right. yeah. like wow. every single person, I like one of the group chats that we're in today, like I pretty much was the person that created it and facilitated it. Right. Because right. Everyone, you had everyone's number. Yeah, because yeah. everyone, you know, they, you know, life happens. Everyone kind of yep. goes on and they do their own thing. And like, I've always had your yeah, number. Like, in, yeah. like, I think, I I don't even know if I have your number. I know, I wonder I, if you I, still I, got my this. number. I bet. It's going to change. Ah! It hasn't changed. If it hasn't changed, then I It hasn't changed. So. <laughs> Should I say it out loud for Fuck everyone? No. Yeah. <laughs> still it. Yeah. 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 Still it. Yeah. Still got it, right? Like, Damn so, yeah. like, that's just me. Like, you know, I'm just always been like that. You yeah. Know? And, yeah. And I always root for everyone. Yeah. yeah. So, like, when I see anyone that I know doing something or doing something great, I'm always like, Hell bro, yeah. let's yeah. go. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Two, two questions. What do you think your love language is? Is it, is it acts of service, things like that? And two, for has sure. there ever been a moment <laughs> where you have really experienced jealousy or you know, haterade feelings towards somebody else. Remember, remember jealousy? that show where they like course. haterade? Like, anyway, I think that's just like, a, like, like a I feel like jealousy, like I, I hate when people be like, oh, you can't do this or that. Like jealousy is one of those you things is like, it ha- like it's gonna happen some point in life, right? right. Whether For sure. whether it's like not like like okay, jealous someone has a car or something like that. Like that's crazy, but like you know, what I mean, jealousy could go in a lot of different ways, especially when you involve love. Mm. Um, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like because yeah. that's like a whole right. different ballgame. Right now, I feel like people that are just jealous of someone for like anything like yeah that's one but like love i kind of get it where get you know what i mean if you're in love with somebody and then they're like, they're like off with another guy you're like fuck that guy like no matter even if you have that thought one time it's gonna happen right you yeah. know but i think my love language would probably be like uh definitely acts would you say acts of service, acts of service? That, that's that's mine yeah it's far. for sure like, like i resonate a lot with what you're yeah saying. like i think that for sure and this like i think i'm kind of one of those like I'm I'm not too much on like verbal like affirmations, but I am kind of more like I want you to show me more mm-hmm. so than just like oh my god I love you mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. you know what I mean because like everyone who knows me knows like all the people that I do love I'm gonna say like I love you to everyone like right mm-hmm. that's another thing like any girl or whoever's gonna be with me like they have to know like if I see Lindsay I'm gonna be like Lindsay yeah, I love yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate that. Yeah. you know what I mean and yeah. you can't be like did you just tell her you love her? Uh, yeah. You know yes. what I mean? Like, yeah. yes. Well, yeah. like, because I hate when people say like, you can only love one person. Or yeah. Because yeah. like, I'm always like, all right, look, how many parents do you have? Mm-hmm. Right. How many aunts do you have? Yeah. Right. How many, like, yeah. you right. have a grandma, yeah. a granddad many, on both best sides. Best friends you got. Best yeah, friends. Man. Like, you love, you can love more than one person. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's like, so when people go into relationships, they're just like, you can't only tell me you love me. I'm like, so oh, restrictive. No. So like, what? Like, what love, is that? <laughs> love is something you carry with you. I actually like noticed yeah. about you a lot where you can love people in, in a way in the same, like you, you carry it with you so you never need it from somebody. You just always yeah. have it with you. Yeah. So whether you experience it from somebody or not, you still have it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's so true. It's so you, true. Your kids are on the pod. Hey, Bella, guy. Bella, come downstairs <laughs> real quick. Welcome, hi. Bella. Hi, Bella. Welcome. You want to Hi, Bella. Speaking to the mic. Welcome to the podcast. Say hello. Hello. 
Hello. Hey. <laughs> What's your name? Bella. Ooh. Oh, Bella. Thanks so much for being here today. I love your earrings. Um, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, man, it's so good to see you. Yeah. It's so good on, to man. see you Father. the yeah. same, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, your energy has been untarnished by this thing. Yeah. And it's yeah. just you glorious too, to all see, of man. Y'all. Like, I mean, even when I first walked in, you heard me. I'm like, is that Lindsay? Hey. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh. Made me feel here, so good. Oh, here we go. We got one more. Hey. 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 What's up, buddy? Daddy. Your name is not Daddy. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Right? Don't touch the microphone. You can't Ready? touch the you, Don't touch you it. Talk Just talk into, into, into here, it. Not touch it. Carter. Yeah, yeah buddy. Big Carter. Big yeah, Carter. Buddy. Wait, Carter, Carter Jenkins? Did you name him? No, you didn't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, that's Carter rough, dude. That's yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you named your son after that. Carter Jenkins, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. 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 Chris <laughs> loves Carter. She knew it. Chris has a poster of him on his I do love Carter, though. That's my boy. Dude, I just ran into him. Yeah. Let's say into here. Oh, look, Bella, Thanks listen. for watching the pod. Wait, we need a tip from Chris. Oh, 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 a yeah. oh a tip. Chris, we like to end our episodes with a little tip for the audience. Okay. Just something about life. Just a little life advice. <laughs> Wear condoms. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a valid yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, <laughs> a tip about life. Um, <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, Carter, Carter. No, 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 Carter, 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 no, Carter, Carter, no. Carter, Jesus. Carter. See? <laughs> we gotta wear he runs to the camera. He <laughs> runs to the camera. <laughs> 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 um, I would say a tip for life is always just be yourself. Uh, always keep people around you that love you and actually care about your well-being. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I think that's the, the biggest thing in life. You know, um, even like with this, right? You guys, people that I grew up with, we all, you know, started pretty much the same way, yep. same beginnings, right? And it's even more amazing for me to be here because it's like, this is all off of relationships and the love that we've all had for years. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Where it's like full circle, you have this platform now where you're like, yo, let, you're like, yeah, let's, come on. Let's, yeah. Let's yeah, come please. on and talk. You want to always have that r rapport because, you know, in our game, especially in, really anything in life, you never know where people are going to be and what people are going to do. And not to say that that's anything that, oh, thank you, that you should also kind of like live off of, but it's something that you should keep in mind, right? Where, you know, I've seen it a lot in this industry where people who <laughs> are kind of on the high horse mm -hmm. at one yeah. point in their life mm -hmm. that kind of talk down on people that are a little bit below them right. at the time. Yeah. And then yeah. you fast forward to like 2023 and then like this person's now like, That's right here mm -hmm. and this person's like not anywhere right. or the, so it's like for me I've always kept it to where it's like I've always did nothing but love everybody mm -hmm. and I always feel like everyone should kind of have that mentality of like you know you never know where you're gonna be you never know what's gonna last what's not you know so I think just loving people and keeping people yeah. around you that you, you really love yep. <laughs> all right come come all to right. this mic right. Bella <laughs> okay yeah, all right, right. Come come and come and you're gonna me. tell you're gonna tell the people thanks nope. for thanks for watching. Thanks can you look? Watching. Can you look? We're right gonna say there? it on the count of three, okay? Thanks for watching. Ready? One, two, two, three. three. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Thanks for Woo! watching. Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks Follow so Chris on all the things. Yes, yes. we love Chris you. Massey. Great to see you. Yeah, What's baby. Up? Bro, thanks Blame for coming through, bro. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Woo. Thank you to our patrons who help make sure that this pod can keep going. We really appreciate you. And a special shout out to our top tier super friends. <laughs> super friends. Daniel, what time is it? Oh, it's time for the super friends dance. Super, go, mm -hmm. super friends dance. Super friends dance. We love super you guys. If you want to check out our Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Ned's pod. We got some fun tiers. We do live streams and BTS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it helps sustain our pod. It's a super friend shimmy. Super friend shimmy. This one's a super, super friend shim. It's a shimmy. shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you guys want some clips from the show, go on over to Podco's YouTube channel. And you can also support our Patreon for more weekly bonus content. You guys know you want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.